this week's edition of Batter Up. Today we have redshirt junior Nick Addison here to share some facts about himself and his teammates. Nick, you ready to go? Let's do it. Can you characterize the role you play on the baseball team on and off the field? On and off the field. On the field, I'm batting leadoff mostly and playing center field, roaming around. Off the field, I'd say I'm the dad. The dad of the squad, you know, I help help out whatever needs to be helped out as far as leadership role and I mean that's pretty much it. that's pretty much it. You wear number 16. Is there a reason behind that? There is no reason. I mean I was given that when I came in here four years ago. It seems like forever. But uh, that's the number I was given and I'm trying to wear it proud. What is your favorite baseball moment? Favorite baseball moment? Uh, I'm gonna do this to make Dom the Gata mad. It was in high school. It was the two number one guys, Fred versus Schomburg, Grant Monroe versus Matt Gailey, two powerhouse arms. We had it was at our place and we won two to one in like eight innings. I mean, or nine innings actually. We played only seven in high school. I'm just doing that to piss Dom off because I know he would. Who's your all-time favorite player? My all-time favorite player. That's a good question. I mean, I don't have like a, a key favorite. If I had to say one, I'd say uh, I'd say Michael Jordan when he played for the White Sox. Yeah, that's my all-time favorite player. What's your favorite restaurant in Chicago? Ooh. Favorite restaurant, Lou Malnati's Deep Dish. You can't go wrong. I mean, if you get sausage, you got to go with the pad, the, the pieces, not the patty. The patty, I don't like that. What is your all-time favorite movie? All-time favorite movie, Kicking and Screaming. Great movie. It's a good one. Can't go wrong with Mike Ditka and Will Ferrell. The best combination there is. Do you have any hidden talents or skills that you'd like to share with us? <laughs> Do I, I really don't. I mean, I am in a rap group where I'm, I'm pretty good. They call me Sick Nick, but it's like spelled S-I-Q-N-I-Q, -I -I it's one word. So the group is Wham Bam and the Weasels, Matt Salemi's in it, Steve McGuigan was in it, and there's been some features on there. It's a solid group. If you have a superhero power, which would you choose and why? I would say being able to hear what people are thinking inside their head, you know? Like on every, like think about what the pitcher's thinking on the mound. He's just, oh, I'm going to throw a fastball here. Like you can hear that when you're hitting and he doesn't know. That'd be a sick power. What TV show would you like to star in, and why? Jeez, I would say Battle of the Exes on MTV. Just the competition, they're hanging out. That'd be, that'd be a good TV show to be on. What are three attributes you look for in a dream girlfriend? Well, here's the thing. Unlike the other three dorks that were on here, I have a girlfriend, and that's my dream girlfriend. She's probably watching. She'll be watching this. So if you want to follow her on Twitter, a am cozy six. <laughs> if you could ask five people dead or alive to dinner, who would they be? Five people dead or alive. Okay. Let's go Elvis is number one. I grew up loving Elvis. Had a ton of Elvis memorabilia. Go Elvis. We'll go Dicka, the coach. How can you not go wrong? We'll go Michael Jordan. We'll go D Rose. And then we'll wrap it up with my dad. He's got to come because someone's got to pick up the bill. So it's got to be the pops. If you weren't playing baseball, what sport would you play? Ooh. I would say I love football, big Bears fan, but uh, there's something about basketball. Like It's just such an energy game, and I'm such an energy person that basketball, would, I don't know, I'd, I'd play basketball. I'd be like a four or five. Wouldn't have zero offense. I'd bring the defense and the block parties. If I were to take your iPod and look at it, what would the most played song be? Oof. Right now, it'd probably be Call Me Maybe. But, I mean, other than that, it'd be anything you want. Right now, I'm, I'm a big Andy Grammer fan. Keep your head up, you know, find by me those tracks right now. Just, just chill songs. If you could pick one guy on the team, who would win an eating competition? Oof. Eating. Well, if you look at Chris Hoffman's body, you'd say Chris Hoffman. But I don't think it's him. I think I'd go with... Joey Beagle, the kid eats, I mean, if he gets something that he likes, it's actually disgusting, but I'd say Beagle. Out of the three teammates we've had on Batter Up, they've all said you're the one always on the phone. So who are you talking to on there? I am on the phone constantly. It's mom, dad, anyone. I mean, I'm a talkative person, so, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Whoever I, whoever I think in my mind to call, I just give them a ring, and I'm always on the phone. You're more talking than texting? Uh, yeah. I'd say that. I'd say I call my dad and mom all the time. My mom's a big movie star now. If you have, you've seen those Activia commercials, Real Woman with Jamie Lee Curtis, she's all over them, and she thinks she's a movie star. So I gotta keep, keep.
keep her in line to make sure she's back in reality with all of us. What is one thing you can't leave the house without? Ooh, can't leave the house without my phone. I mean, everyone's going to say that because your, your phone is, if you're bored in class, you're rip, ripping text, you're looking on the internet, you're checking Twitter, and I'd say my phone for sure. Who's the best singer on the team? The best singer? Well, obviously, Salemi thinks he is. He sits in the shower and sings. I mean, I've been his roommate for two years now. And, but I would have to go with Johnny Cohen. Great voice. You know, boy bands, I think. Boy hear. band, yeah, he does like that. But when you get a chance, ask him to sing your song. It will melt your heart. Which of your teammates tells the worst joke? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Cohen again. He is. I mean, it's, he just like wants to be that awkward joke. He always has to put that awkward joke in, and that's what makes it funny. Do you have any so, examples? I, I, here's the one he told me recently. He goes, what did one lawyer say to the other lawyer? We're both lawyers. Who has the best hair on the team? The best hair? I'd have to go with Alex Yurich. He's worked really hard to get his hair where it was at. When he first came in, it was a buzz cut. And He's let it go, and he's, he maintains it. He keeps it in check. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Um, I mean, I don't get, I don't get bothered by a lot of things because I'm kind of just like shrug it off. So my biggest pet peeve would be, I, I really don't have one. I can't pick one out that I'm just like something that bothers. I mean, I would have to go with wet socks. Whenever my socks are wet, it's just it's the worst feeling ever. Who on the team is most likely to star in a reality TV show? Oof. I mean, Hoffman thinks he should be in a reality TV show. He thinks he should be on every TV show. Same with Salemi. But who would be on a reality TV show? I'm saying uh, Andres. I mean, it's far-fetched, but watch. He's got some personality. Maybe he'd be on, like, Dancing with the Stars. He's got some little salsa moves. What is the funniest thing you've ever seen happen on a baseball field? <laughs> I would say it happened this year, actually. Mike D take a BP. Now, that's, that's something funny to watch. If you ever have a chance to watch that, he's going to get mad because he thinks he's a stud. But let's be serious. Go. Ryan Schober, you're the next batter up, so get your facts straight.